Hello guys and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and did a bunch of stuff. Uh, most of all, we studied for midterms, did our midterms, and we got access to the roof here. Now we can actually look out over the different areas here. That blue part there, it looks like it just leads out into the void instead of actually anything. But yeah, we kind of got a whole new perspective here on... Uh, Tatsumi Port Island, kind of see some buildings off in the background. I always, like, love looking out at, especially in fixed camera areas, I love trying to see as much of the world as I possibly can. Anyways, in this episode, we're actually going to be doing stuff instead of just standing on the rooftop all day. First of all, any new dialogue from people over here? Indeed we do. <laughs> well, I'm sure glad that you agreed to take over caring for the plants. To be honest, uh, just climbing the stairs to the rooftop is rough for an old man like me. Yeah, how old are you? You look somewhere between 30 and 55. My results were actually better than I expected. It seemed like the exams didn't cover that much this time, so I kind of lucked out. I do still wish that I had enough energy to study after going to Tartarus, though. Uh, there actually is a way that you could see the result of everyone else on the team. I forgot to mention it last time. Yes. My scores of this latest round of exams were quite a bit higher than usual. I guess it's only natural, considering how I used my training time to study instead. Oh right, Mitsuru told me she'll be back late tonight. So according to her, Tartarus is a no-go. How's it going, Junpei? Yeah, my grades were... Well, they were, they were what I expected. Oh man, just leave me alone, man. As you wish. Might actually be some... Uh, charm raising stuff. Oh, actually, we're going for academics, aren't we? Yeah, because we're still on level 2 for that, so... Well, good thing that I'm here, because... I can go into Club Escapade and get that last Twilight Fragment that we've been missing. I completely neglected to mention the fact that you could go up here. And this, uh... Area is very infamous for a reason that I won't even be able to get into until a completely different Let's Play. God, I could have sworn there it was somewhere in here. Oh, there it is! I thought it was like a light or something like that. Uh, but yeah, for this you get the achievement Eagle Eye for acquiring every Twilight Fragment in town. Uh, I actually didn't, haven't gotten that achievement before. I don't know if it showed up on the recording, but I just got that achievement. Don't just stand there. If, you, if you're in here, you gotta dance. Dancing is just a great stress reliever. Every, everything bad just melts away. Tell that to everyone else in this club room. Except for this guy. Hey, how's it going? Man who can't get groovy. Groovy. I see. I envy you. <laughs> to be honest, man, me too. I just can't seem to get into a groove. I thought I could if I came here, but I guess not. Don't you know the fortune teller? The one they call Den Mother or Mama? She got very weird presence, like she's in another world. Is this the same dialogue as before? That girl's been trying all her life. She doesn't talk to people she doesn't know easily. I, though I guess if that fortune teller does have a different air about her. She seems to like someone who has something special. Is there any lore surrounding you? I don't know. Anyways, let's go ahead and hang out at uh, Wakatsu, because that's where we could get, to my knowledge, the most amount of uh, knowledge stats. Alright, I swear to god, sometime soon... Oh, they know me as a regular customer. So, since we have a high charm now, charm level 3, we can actually eat some of the cool stuff here. In order the seafood full course. Thanks to the, thanks to the omega-3s in the fish, I feel like my mind is sharper than before. Level up! Level up! Dang it! Sup, dude. Hey, how'd you do in your exams? I'm satisfied with them. Wait, what? You traitor! Dude, I'm a laughing stock. You know what I heard those the, these two cute first-year girls saying? Did you see the exam results? Specifically, Yori Senpai's? He sure talks big, unlike his brain. Do you understand what I'm going through? My heart is in shambles, and we're not even getting a new girl on the team. No, wait. It's too early to give up hope. We still haven't heard back from her yet. How can we get her to join us? I should figure out what to say to convince her. Uh, we still have, like, two more weeks until the next full moon, so we're just kinda chillin' here. We can up Tomachika or Chihiro. I'm going with Chihiro. Hello! Good afternoon! It's Fushimi! Forgive me for asking for help so suddenly, but do you have time to meet after school? I'll be up at the usual spot in the hallway, but it's not a problem if you can't make it. Thank you! I kind of just imagine it read as one, like, really nervous, continuous run-on sentence. Uh, I haven't heard from Mitsuru Superfan in a while. 
The other night I had a, a dream about Kirijo Senpai. She drove me around on her motorcycle and we cruised around town at midnight. It was so cool. I wish I could ride with her like that for real. I would be happy just to be run over by Kirijo Senpai burning on her burning hot wheels. I feel like I've seen like a thousand posts on the internet that are just like that. If someone was attacked on the streets here, they said the victim's injuries weren't too serious, but it's still pretty scary. So they're just attacked, like, unprovoked. I don't know, maybe they had it coming to them. Jeez. Anyways, how's it going, Chihiro? Oh, Yuki-san, how have things been? Actually, um, I'd like to ask you a favor if you have time today. That might just be how I read all of her dialogue now, just one run-on sentence. Oh, th thank you so much. Um, if this is kind of embarrassing, but will you help me with my homework? It's math to be specific. Let's talk about it more, to more at the library. A treasurer who's not even good at math. Doesn't that sound pathetic? I never even wanted this job. Someone else entered me into the running. I didn't think I would actually get elected, though. Oh, uh, but I don't regret joining the student council or anything. If I hadn't joined, then I wouldn't have met such kind people, like you or the president. Shut up. You're distracting us. Oh, I I I'm sorry. If you're gonna flirt with each other, go do it outside. I'm so tired of this. I can't even pick up my pencil anymore. But if you give me a kiss, maybe I can study for another 30 minutes. What are you going on about now? Come on, you gotta take this seriously. Don't you want us to go to the same college? Just give me a kiss, please. Fine. They're really gonna kiss? Do they not know where they are? The best option to say here is they have no shame. That's right! I agree! This is supposed to be a place of learning! And they're still just kids. So I say this, as a member of the student council. That kind of inappropriate behavior should not be tolerated at school! We should notify the student council president right away and discuss this at our next meeting! The best option to say here is, I agree. If you're on my side, then I have nothing to fear! <gasps> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be raising my voice in the library. I don't mind if I get in trouble, but... I don't want you to get criticized, too. I can tell Chihiro is concerned about me. I feel like our relationship has grown. Oh! I didn't notice the time. Um, I think I'm going to be stuck here for a while, so you don't need to wait for me. Got our stuff from Tanaka, yay! Oh, you're back. Hey, if you're up for it, let's go to Tartarus later. I need to get back into the swing of things. It's pro it's, it'd probably be... It'd probably do some good to train more, too. We can't just rely on some hypothetical new recruit. The enemy could attack it again any time. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. How rough could it get? Anyways, what kind of stats does the... new thing have? Rash guard? All purpose 75. That's nice. I'm giving that to Junpei because he has 22 on his dress shirt. 69, nice, goes to Yuki. And then I'll have to buy some stuff for the others. I could sell their extra stuff so that, um, so that I can get a little bit more money. And does Sonata have any? Okay, he is in a winter uniform, which, as we have established, is quite boring. And then I think Yukari has the same, or Takaba, sorry. Yeah. Kurosawa-san deals in a variety of weapons for us, but my weapons? I've always got them on me. <laughs> I drive right into the fray and dish out the pain. These might not be as flashy as some of your weapons, but they're my pride and joy. Just tell me if you ever want to fight with your fists, too. I'll whip, us, I'll whip up a solid training regimen for you. Whatever, whenever I look up at Tartarus, I am always amazed at how many floors it seems to have. The tower that reaches into the skies. It's going to be a long and arduous journey. 
Indeed it is. I keep thinking like, oh, I can't believe I'm only on rank one with this person, or I'm only on rank two with this person. But then I have to, I have to realize we're still only in May. We have so much more time left. We still have we still have to be introduced to so many things. We've only fought one boss fight so far. I my brain needs to slow down its pace. Hmm. It's too bad about the girl Fukuyama Gishi, huh? It would have been nice if a girl the same year as me joined. And then Junpei is off on his lonesome, I guess because he's depressed about his test scores. Can't even find him on the map anywhere, so that's how you know it's getting bad. One thing that I do want to say is that the voice actor for Chihiro is... <gasps> Completely forget what I was going to say. I was going to compliment the voice actor for Chihiro, and yes, she does have a very soothing voice, and it's very nice to listen to. New stuff over here. It's Tanaka! If only I could find someone who could steal our client's hearts! That, Tanaka, you could never find something like that. Something like that could never happen. There must be some handsome young man out there who could drive all the housewives wild. Right here. Where? I don't see anyone. For heaven's sake, quit, quit wasting, wasting my precious time. This must be the man Maya saw. That w this must be the man Maya was talking about. The one she saw on TV. But he doesn't seem to be interested in me. My charm was smooth, then maybe I could get his attention. So, Tanaka does have a social link in this game. The guy on TV, you can hang out with him. He was also the guy who was um, making fun of Maya that she mentioned during her social link. And I believe this can't be accessed until after you've talked to her a number of times. But yeah, we'll have to get our charm up. For now, I'm going to... I'm going to hold off until next Monday. Okay, that's what I've decided. But anyways, as I was mentioning earlier, Chihiro's voice actress is very, like, soothing to listen to, and she's just great all around. Okatsu Kitchen is crowded. So, you know what? To raise up money for our uh, war fund, as Junpei would probably put it, I'm gonna go ahead and work at Chagall Cafe again. It'll help us raise up a couple of our stats. We might even uh, get our charm up to level 4 because, you know, it's the easiest one to get up. And we've been putting so much stuff into that. Let's work part-time. 22,000, nice. No on a charm, and of course no on courage. I say this every time, but I feel like we're getting close with charm. Which is why I'm not going to focus on it as much, because I want to more evenly distribute stuff. So it turns out the cactus I bought at the 100 yen store was fake this whole time. No wonder it didn't wither. And here I thought I was taking such great care of it. No way. Oh my god, that's hilarious. You put so much effort into watering it too. If you want a real plant, get one from a home center or, you know, an actual flower shop. Mm. Yeah, I think I'll buy one from the flower shop on Port Island. I hear they're, they've been s selling seedlings for home gardening lately. Florist at Port Island Station seems to be selling seedlings for home gardens. I might find new seedlings there. So for this, that's for the garden that we got up on the roof. If you want to buy some new stuff that'll help us out in a bunch of different ways, go there. In fact, I might actually spend some time over there. Exams suck, don't they? You have to study so much and get your scores posted, and if you do bad, everyone will laugh at you. You seemed to know Kurija-san, but you're not going after her, are you? I feel like if I say I sure am... I want to be truthful and say not particularly. But I feel like if I say I sure am, you know, this is probably just going to be a tutorial. It's just, just going to be like, hey, did you know you can't talk with her unless you get a higher academic stat? Let's see if I'm right. Bodyguards will break his neck. Okay, that's actually a fairly funny line. So this whole time there's a Persona user in the class next door, huh? Dude, we've been missing out. What if she's cute? Hey, Yuko, we could hang out with her. We could also hang out with Odagiri, and we do technically have an Emperor Persona, and we don't have a Strength Persona at the moment. But we get to hang out with Yuko less, so let's go back to the Velvet Room. I am Rakshasa. Those who stand against you shall be struck with terror and despair, even though I can't pronounce my own name, apparently. Today's the day. Sorry about the other day. I'd like to make it up to you. I have no idea what... This might be about the girl who's placing gum in her locker and, like, taunted her by saying, Oh, you're hanging out with your new boyfriend? 
but it's genuinely been so long since we've last hung out that I don't remember. Want to walk home together again? It'll be th I'll be in the usual spot. Come see me if you can, okay? Oh, hey, Yuki-kun. Exams are finally over, huh? Congrats on surviving. Now we have time to do whatever we want to do. Oh, hey, are you free today? We were interrupted last time, so if you're down, want to try hanging out again? Great, then let's hit the town and have some fun this time. How about we head to Polonia Mall? Maybe we should get some cake from Chagall, too. Oh, yeah! Have you been training to strengthen your core? It's a good idea if you want to shorten your runtime. You're less likely to injure yourself, too. I was talking with Kaz about putting it in the first year's practice routine, actually. Do you mind if we continue talking in the cafe? I'm a little hungry. Ow! You again! Oh, man. You know, it's dangerous to be running around a place like this. You're lucky it's just me, but what if you bumped into a scary man, huh? If you want to play, do it at your schoolyard. But we can't play there. The sixth graders are always hogging everything by playing soccer. They said they'll move if we can beat them in a race, but we're only fourth graders. There's no way we could win. That's why we had to play tag here instead, Auntie Yuko. I'll let the auntie slide this time, but only because I feel sorry for you. All right, come with me. This field is so big! Wow, high school is amazing. They said it's fine for us to use the schoolyard for a bit. Normally, you wouldn't be allowed in here, understand? So don't touch anything you're not supposed to, and if something happens, let us know immediately. Can you promise that? We promise. Good. Then practice until the big hand on that clock reaches 12. And don't go inside the school building. All right, let's do this. Wait, come here for a second. You need to pump your arms more. And don't lift your legs so high, or you might pull a muscle. Go on, give it a try. You just gotta believe in yourself. Woohoo! Check this out. Wow! Kenshon, you're so fast! Hey, Big Sis! You should be our coach! Oh, I'm a real sucker when kids look at me that way. But I've never tried coaching before. What do you think I should do? That's for you to decide. Yeah, I know. Come on, please. Please. Hmm. Well, it isn't a decision to make lightly. Hmm. All right, I'll be your coach. But I'm not going to go easy on you guys. And no one's allowed to quit halfway either. Got it? Got it, Coach Hugo. Hey, is he gonna teach us too? Is he your boyfriend, Coach? Never you mind about that. Now everyone, line up. I said I wouldn't go easy on you, didn't I? Yuko began passionately instructing each child. Think positive. If you think you're gonna lose, you will. Don't be afraid of them just because they're sixth graders. That, that sounds, sounds hard, hard, but okay. okay. I watched Yuko as she coached the kids. Eventually, they all went home. Once they started calling me coach, I couldn't resist. Hey, um, I was wondering, would you maybe want to do this coaching thing together? I know I'm asking a lot, but I don't know much about racing. And plus, you're really athletic, too. So if you'd coach them with me, I'd really appreciate it. I mean, why not, right? <laughs> Please? Honestly, I don't think I can handle it on my own. The best option to say here is sure thing. Oh, thank goodness. I'm sure those kids will be happy too. Thanks. Seems like Yuko is counting on me. I feel like our relationship has grown. It's very funny hearing little kids refer to sixth graders as like, 
the big kids because I definitely remember being in like kindergarten first grade and seeing sixth graders and being like whoa they're so old but if I see like a sixth grader because they're like what 12 or something like that they're like tiny kids like half my size I know that I keep asking you for favors but I'll make it up to you one day There are a lot of fan theories that the little boy who bumps into Yuko is uh, the character Ryuji Sakamoto from Persona 5. But, so, in the remake they added in a line where he's referred to as Kenshan just to dispel those rumors. Sup, dude? Not much other than that? Okay. I mean, it's not like I can expect them to come up with some epic new dialogue every single time I walk through the door. Do you have some time? I'm a little disappointed about Yamagishi-kun as well. It's uh, quite difficult to find someone who has the potential. Would you feel more confident in your abilities with more team members? That's true. That'd be correct. Thankfully, Sonata-kun has rejoined the team. Yeah, he's... He was... Yeah, he is... Pretty decent. Dude, my persona just keeps getting stronger and stronger. I feel like I can take on any enemy now. Okay, well, maybe not any enemy, but I do feel like... I do feel like I've gotten a lot better than before. Now only if my grades would go up too. Huh, I guess you do have some self-awareness. Hey, don't make this serious. I was just making one of those self-deprecating jokes. Ugh, and now I'm depressed for real. For real? In, in my eyes, Tartarus is the best place we can find for training the mind and body. Although I do understand Mitsuru's concerns about this place. Is there even a top floor to that thing? If so, what's at the top? Ugh, just thinking about it gives me the shivers. One piece of trivia that I really do like about the original Persona 3 Portable, and it kind of relates to Tartarus because we were just talking about that, is that if you waited too long to go to Tartarus at the beginning of the, of the game, I'll leave a link to this, uh, I'll leave a link to a video showing this in the description. Uh, it would just take you, uh, Mitsuru would get angry with you and just force you to go into Tartarus and be like, no, you're not leaving until you've made a, some decent progress. Uh, they've re removed that just to add some more, um, just to make it so you can make more choices in the game. And that, that leads me to another thing, is I've seen on the internet some people who have gotten to, like, the very end of the game where you need to climb to the very top of Tartarus, and they're like, oh no, what am I gonna do? I don't, I can't get to, I don't think I'll be able to get to Tartarus, um, I don't think I'll be able to get to the top of Tartarus. And they'll be at the very end of the game, and they'll still be on, like, floor two. And it's just like, how do you get through any part of the game? Because they force you to fight boss fights. How do you do that? <laughs> what, do you grind on floor two until you get to the proper level? Just go up a floor. What's up, dude? So, what do you think? Of what? About that girl, Fuki Yamagishi. I haven't lost hope that she'll join our team. Dude, I've actually seen her around. And yeah, she does look kind of frail, but that just makes me want to be strong enough for the two of us. Uh, let's see. Today I'll be covering the Kofun period in our history. I don't know, though. Do you, any of you think... Do any of you think this stuff's relevant? I mean, I could slap together some clay statues that look a lot better than theirs did. I can't wait till we get to the Sengoku era. It's so much more exciting. Speaking of the Sengoku era, there was this one general that they call the Warhawk of the Battlefield. Looks like it's turned into another Sengoku lecture. Feeling sleepy? So... And that's how the period came to be known as the Sengoku era. Oh, uh, you want to learn more, hear more about the Kofun period? Well, if you insist, uh, go look, look up the Kutora tomb in Nara. It's really famous. Level up. Level up. Level up. Damn it. Well, that's gonna be it for today because, you know, even though we didn't level up, we still got some stuff done. We did some hanging out with Yuko. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and in the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and continue working, continue going through this, and we're going to actually be getting into June next episode, unless we have something that takes up several days in the next episode, which I heavily doubt. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.